50% of women are being ignored. Well, that's kind of rude. In North America, the average bra size is a 34 double D. But the mainstream lingerie stores only offer up to a 40 triple D. Meaning, the other 50% of women that want to have a comfortable bra are just completely out of luck. No, 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 no. At House of Honesty, we're not cool with that. So we designed the first bra of its kind that serves 100% of women. To make a better bra, we focused on three key areas. Size, comfort, and adaptability. Our first production run launches with over 90 sizes. From a 30B all the way to a 42I. Because every woman at every size deserves to be properly supported. Our one-of-a-kind gel straps adapt like water, molding to your contours, distributing weight, and cooling your skin. We are a red mark free zone. We've ditched the metal underwire, replacing it with a lightweight 3D nylon alternative. Whatever your size, it flexes with your movement, keeping you secure and supported. Our secret to solving this problem is our advanced fabrics. The fabrics have two compression zones, the rigid and the elastic. The elastic part can actually adapt up to two cup sizes, and the rigid part is actually 3.5 times stronger to give you the support that you need. We've also added moisture wickening and antimicrobial properties, which means goodbye boob sweat and hello cool, fresh wear every day. The idea was born out of an innovation challenge, inspired to bring comfort and bra design through a tech and engineering lens. Since then, our founding team's unique and diverse skill set of engineers, technologists, and fashion designers allow us to approach design solutions differently. I mean, you need an aerospace engineer to defy gravity. My relationship with bras has just been a bit of a love-hate relationship. It's like 10% love and then 90% hate. It's kind of hard finding one that fits properly but isn't digging in all of the time. I would try on the biggest sizes and they wouldn't really fit me. They would cut into my rib cage. Moving forward, I had to go to specialty stores, but bras that were larger than a double D cost more money. Pre-pregnancy, I was totally comfortable either not wearing a bra or wearing something that had no support. And then as soon as I got pregnant, I needed to wear a bra because it was just so uncomfortable. When you're pregnant and you already feel so different about your body. The one thing that you want to be able to do is wear something that makes you feel comfortable. But with the Anasu bra, like, it just completely changed everything. It honestly felt like I wasn't wearing one. It felt like I was really supported, like I felt like I could move around. The first thing that I noticed was that the straps weren't digging into my shoulders. It felt weightless and I felt supported. I feel completely supported throughout. It shapes me out very nicely too. It would definitely help me focus more, not having to adjust every so often. My breast size would change slightly during my periods. One week out of the month, I just had to push through very uncomfortable bras. My breasts have already changed almost two cup sizes from my pregnancy alone, and my breasts are gonna continue to change during breastfeeding, when I stop breastfeeding. When I would go for honesty fittings, I never had a problem with it not fitting. Having something that adjusts two cup sizes is so imperative whether I'm a B one day or a C the next day. The bra will still continue to support me and that's something that I can invest in. Just put it on, forget it's there and go about my day. We've spent the last three and a half years making the Annecy bra a reality. Sourcing materials and finding a manufacturer as interested in changing the standards of the laundry industry as we are was no easy task. After extensive research and testing since 2015, it's here in two styles in over 90 sizes, from a 30B all the way to a 42I. Join us for the first run of 1,000 bras and help us make 100% of women supported and comfortable. <laughs>